All right, new video, here we go. Hi guys, it's Riley. I'm in a different location. Whoa! Today's video is a video I've been wanting to make for a while. So I figured, hey, why not do it like right before I have to go to work? So that's what we're gonna do. The video today is going to be a little video called Dear Middle School Me. So it's kind of like a letter of me talking to myself back when I was in middle school, so... Here we go! Hi. It's Riley. You probably don't know me yet, at least not by name. I'm who you are going to become. I'm coming back and making this video to give you some advice that I know that you could have used throughout your middle school years. First thing, to be completely honest, don't pretend that you like girls. I know you started to in like sixth grade, but it's not worth it. And honestly, you're wasting your time. Just because you know you're a boy doesn't mean you have to like girls. Number two, don't pretend to be who you're not. You're gonna try really hard to fit in and be normal, but it's gonna make you miserable. Also, the sooner you realize that feeling the way you do, being a boy, is okay, and the happier you'll be after you come to terms with that. Three, don't keep what you're feeling bottled up. You gotta tell someone, and if you do, it'll save you years of pain and suffering in the future. Four, don't start self-harming. What starting self-harming will do is dig a seven-year long hole that you'll have to haul ass to get out of. There will be lots of addictions and withdrawals and almost hospital trips where you probably should have gone and got stitches but didn't. Not to mention all the nasty scars. It's not worth it and no one deserves to hurt themselves. Five, suicide isn't the answer. You may think it is, but like I said before, you need to talk to someone. If you tell someone now, you probably won't end up in the hospital a ton of times like I did. To be honest, that's what I'd recommend. Six, you know that really cute boy that's one year older than you? Yeah, don't lust after him. He's straight and not interested. Seven, keep true to yourself. Don't follow other people's examples. You gotta march to the beat of your own drum because being a conformist is not going to be worth your happiness. Eight, your friends are going to leave you because you're gonna be too much for them to handle. So I'd recommend looking a bit deeper and realizing that they're not gonna be there for you in the future. Try to make some new friends, ones that you feel deep down will stick around. Nine, you're gonna gain weight, probably a lot of it, but that's okay and you can't hate yourself for it. 10, please chop your hair off before seventh grade. Trust me, that's all I really have to say to you, just those 10 little things may help, may not, go back, fix stuff. With that, I want to tell you guys that I am in no way wishing that any of this didn't happen because if it didn't happen, I wouldn't be the person that I am today and things would probably be a lot different. Not necessarily better, not necessarily worse, just different. And I'm really glad at where I am today. So I am very appreciative of all the experiences that I've had, both positive and negative, and in no way is this me trying to look back and change them. But that's all I have for the video today, guys. I know it was a little bit more, like, deep and emotional and not as funny, but that's what I've got. That's what I've been feeling, so that's what you get. I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment below what you liked about it or if you want me to do more videos like this. That'd be cool. You can also click the subscribe button because I make new videos every Tuesday and Thursday and that'd be really, really cool if you'd subscribe because that makes my life cooler. I enjoy seeing you guys enjoying my videos. Also, if you guys didn't know, I'm on a collab channel this week. It's the second week it's running and this week is How To Week, so be sure to go check it out. It's called Quite The Collab and the link will be below. And that giveaway for the gift keyboard merch is still going on. The video with all the instructions and the things that I'm giving away is called the best iPhone app ever. So that will also be linked below. Make sure you go check that out. Enter. The next thing will be given away when I reach 150 subscribers. And I think of right now, I'm like 20 away from that. So definitely be sure to go check, enter, do everything that you can. It'll be super cool. I can't wait to give this stuff to you guys. You don't have to pay for shipping. It'll be great. Just go do it. But that's what I've got for you guys today. So I really hope you enjoyed that. And come back on Thursday for some more. Bye! So before I get up, I want to tell you that Troy Savon released Blue Neighborhood merch, and I'm spending $200 of my birthday money on it. Bye!